All right, so this is the next day. Last night, I was digging a hole for this beautiful tree right here, orange tree. It took me about two hours. I got, uh, let's see, where am I at here? I got uh, four feet diameter and about four, uh, two feet deep. So I am halfway through. Another two hours to go. Not sure if it's gonna be harder or easier. I got, God knows how many of those barrels filled up. It doesn't look like a lot, but man, it was definitely over, over 10 uh, burial, barrels here uh, of sand and clay, I guess. I don't even know. There's no soil not property here, apparently. I don't even know how this grass is growing, to be honest with you, but it adapts. Uh, so simultaneously, I'm doing multiple other projects. I'm fixing sprinkles. All of these sprinkles here needed to be replaced. Not a big deal, just dig it in, screw it in, good to go. Just gotta make sure you got the right size because I had to go to Home Depot twice to make sure I got it that right. So with that sand and clay that I'm digging out from the orange tree, I'm trying to level this area right here because we are gonna put an arch into a butterfly garden right here. So it's a little bit on a decline here. And uh, I'm going to try to do a straight path walk here into our garden. So obviously all this uh, need to uh, be topped off with topsoil, uh, some moss, and St. Augustine uh, grass, because apparently that's what we have and that's what grows well in Florida because of the humidity and hot sun um, so that's project number two or three I'm losing count here as you can see I still have a few more sprinkles to replace uh, these are some old ones that done its time uh, I'm rearranging a little bit of flowers how we do it around the, around here uh, well actually palm trees and the uh, fruit trees here so I just want to make sure it gets enough water so I'm redoing some of that we have a little situation here as well this is a driveway and it looks like we have sinkholes underneath it and <clears throat> there's definitely a big sinkhole right here uh, and a walk walkway connection so we just had gutter people they're gonna come uh, put gutters all the way in the front here and we're gonna do a down drain uh, down this wall right here under the path fork and alongside the driveway to get into the main drainage over there um, that's another project that I'm started and still learning about it is uh, I'm gonna put pavements because it seems like my car is not gonna fit in the garage with all the tools that I got <laughs> and with all the storage that we have along the side of the garage anyhow um, so yeah I'm, I'm backing in and as you can see my door opens up right by the edge of the driveway so when I step out I step on the grass and uh, it's not wide enough. So I'm gonna do 24 inches extension of pavers here. And also gonna do another extension on the side over here. So if I'm carrying anything or I have to bring stuff in or out, I don't have to step on the dirty grass and bring that inside. Uh, as you can imagine, Florida gets a lot of rain. Right now it's been pretty dry, but Come summertime it's an everyday situation so I'm trying to prep as much as I can and uh, yeah that's where I'm at uh, project after project after project and this is only on the outside uh, I have 15 trees to plant um, 
let's see what I got here. I got uh, we got papaya. Uh, we got growing mango tree, so we got lucky with that. We got papaya, banana tree right here. We're gonna plant. Okay, we got the uh, orange tree as I mentioned before. Grapefruit right here. Uh, we got uh, Barbados cherry. All right, plant it. Let me show you really quick. Here we're gonna put avocado. Oh yeah, another situation I ran into <clears throat> is that I didn't really get uh, the legal um, area of our property. So um, our neighbor, uh, thank you, sir. John right there is good. Help me out with his uh, plan. And I basically measured it and I lined up. So the first hole that I dug up for Orange Tree is where this plant is. And it's about a good seven feet, 10 feet maybe even back. That's where it's uh, legal. So even some of these palm trees are located on our property or in our area that we have to take care of, it belongs to the city. So things you learn as you go along. So this one, this plant was actually just sitting right there on the side. It's just kind of a little bit scary to be honest with you. And uh, it was hiding in the corner. Uh, there's also a sprinkler was right into it. It wasn't allowed to uh, get the water disturbed properly. Uh, so I put it here in the sun. Uh, hopefully it will grow. I'm not sure exactly what kind of plant it is or what it's supposed to do, but hey, go nature. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me show you the other side and what uh, we got planted so far. Uh, so as I mentioned, avocado tree here. I forgot what we're putting here. So here I start working and almost completed uh, our little butterfly garden starts right here and uh, yeah this none of this was here this was all done from scratch with love and uh, apparently butterflies and other pollinators that like color and pretty smell flowers so that's what we ended up doing here uh, and especially since we're gonna have uh, fruit trees we're gonna need a lot of a lot of them working around the uh, area hopefully they will come uh, so this uh, I forgot what, what what's the name of this one so this one my wife found and it's supposed to be absolutely amazing smell that goes for 100 miles uh, around the perimeter this one is tea olive and this is a Samantha's kind um, so this one we're gonna plant next to the plum tree right here the sprinkle there used to be a tree here we cut so I'm gonna give a little bit of space and also give us a little bit of privacy for our pool so I'm gonna plant it right about here where I'm standing um, and this uh, section right here we're gonna plant two more trees and this one here is Barbados cherry and it's uh, what does it say acerola high in vitamin C so everything we're planting is uh, uh, to survive <laughs> I guess it's a survival garden uh, fruit garden, butterfly garden, whatever garden you want to call it. But uh, yeah, the idea was to plant enough uh, food uh, for us to survive and you know, just to not to take extra trips to Walmart. Um, here as well, we have a bunch of flowers that uh, I am going to plant. I got some mulch and garden soil. Uh, to use, I don't know if you can see, let me zoom them a little bit closer. So yeah, a lot of them um, need a lot of water and uh, that's what we're going to 
we're gonna do it. We're gonna plant them deep in here. And now uh, our trip to a local farmer shop here, we uh, found a passion fruit wine. So who knew it grows as a wine, right? I didn't know. So here we're actually gonna do, I don't know if you can see, right here on the edge, we're putting a gate to a butterfly garden. And this here is a passion fruit that's gonna go over it and along the side of the house. Uh, so when the rain comes down, it will get enough water to spread out. Let's see what else we have here. We have a lemon tree, this name right here. Um, Calamandin, Calamandin. So I thought it was Mandarin, but apparently it's not. It's very good in vitamin C. And I can just see it with the skin, it's good. Mm, super sour. Tangerine tree, right here. This is a it's called Tart Kumaquat Nagami. Um, also known as a finger lemon um, or lime. And uh, last but not least, this is kind of an important tree to have. This is pigeon pea tree. And uh, um, apparently this gives a lot of oxygen and also the leaves help uh, with mulch to nearby trees so that's uh, that's what's happening here you know the trees helping each other um, oh yeah this this right here this one we got on the farmers market I, I didn't catch the name of this plant but it eats insects it could new right um, so yeah, so once the insect gets in there, it closes down the lid and bye-bye. <laughs> so we have a few, quite a few actually, mosquitoes and I don't know if you can tell, I have a huge one right there, about two or three inches. Uh, mosquitoes just love the space, I guess it's not windy. Uh, <clears throat> so one of the tricks that I learned on YouTube is to change all the bulbs into yellow no bug bulb um, so that's what I did here in the front as well as by, by the garage and in two places so hopefully it doesn't attract bugs as much still got a lot of work to do as you can see I'm out of breath just talking about it <laughs> and now I'm gonna be back to digging I'm gonna prep this area for pavers um, as well as digging the tree holes and all the other good stuff and uh, oh yeah I don't know whose uh, bright idea was this to plant these hedges here on the side of our house I mean I guess they have some kind of uh, pleasing aesthetics um, however they need full sun i don't even know how they're growing so well in the shade most of the day uh, but unfortunately we're gonna let it go because this is where eventually i am going to set up high beds and grow vegetables uh, as well so like uh, uh well one one of the containers that kind of planted itself from uh, our previous house. Uh, so I have mint, basil, and cilantro uh, all growing in one container. <laughs> uh, they're all kind of competing and probably choking each other inside the soil, but somehow it's striving. The basil is growing really well. Look at those leaves. 
I originally were planning to separate them but unfortunately with the move I didn't get a chance and now it's uh, growing in unison or in synergy and uh, it's doing okay so I'm just gonna let it go for now and uh, see what happens so yeah I've been using uh, basil mint and cilantro pretty much with all my meals uh, this here is uh, oh man citronella citronella plant right here and uh, it's good to keep the mosquitoes away however the trick is you need to activate it by rubbing it uh, so the smell act, uh, gets into the air otherwise it's just sitting on the leaf um, so typically when I get into the garden I spray it on my skin a little bit uh, especially at night and uh, Jesus man we got this is just on the outside uh, we still got a bunch of stuff we need to do with the pool and inside we got about 100 different projects uh, so I'm gonna keep you updated as far as that oh yeah and this is a little shed here uh, you're gonna need to do some loving here uh, fixing um, the entrance, the, the door is all wobbly, the lock is no good. Um, I already put insulation inside, some leftovers from the inside project. And uh, and uh, yeah, just going to try to make it a little more cozy. This is mostly for storage of some, you know, summer stuff and camping stuff. Nothing really important. Um, but got to make it work. That's it. My name is Mark Salner. In case if anybody doesn't know me, I'm reporting here from Port St. Lucie. It's a little paradise island here. And joining our, our new home, uh, we've been very blessed to get it. Me and my wife, uh, Alicia, I've been at it for about two years. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a struggle, to be honest with you, just to get the mortgage and then with this crisis, uh, everything kind of uh, went sideways. Uh, I, I, my original thought it would be easier to get home since be, most people are gonna probably hold on to their money. But it, it went completely the opposite direction where most people said the hell with the money. <laughs> Let us invest into property and somewhere away from the busy city life and uh yeah the most of the houses uh, stay on the market for a week two week tops um and uh, people get full offers instantly and more uh so it's becoming a bidding war uh yes yeah, so like i said we got super lucky and blessed and we appreciate everyone who helped us uh to get it uh, particularly shamai and mo uh, they've been uh, our angels on our side. They've been fighting for us to get this place, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, we. Um, so we we here now. It's been a couple of months. Uh, I've been completely disconnected from the life in general. Uh, there's not a whole lot of work for me as a photographer. I had a few weddings on the weekend, but most of the time I'm home, just working all these projects, learning stuff from YouTube, and. Uh, yeah, just knocking it out one project at a time. Everything takes days and days sometimes. Just painting a kitchen cabinet took me about, jeez, man, more than a week for sure. It's probably 10 days. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a big project. Uh, it seems simple, right? But uh, if you don't want to do it right, you got to do it with multiple coats and sanding in between and uh yeah so that was a so that was a big one you know we had some help uh, with uh, ele electricians came here and they did an amazing job uh, i'm gonna leave a link in the description if anybody wants to use them they are from from miami area but they came all out here and they 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 killed it man they did an awesome job uh hanging up all the chandeliers and fans and fixing stuff with switches or whatnot uh, and uh, also we had uh, somebody helping us with floors 
Uh, did an outstanding job. We, did, we put down life proof uh, marble floor. I'm gonna do another walkthrough inside the house uh, in a second uh, uh, video, I guess. Um, yeah, and everything was great, and uh, I, I guess they, they worked for two days uh, to, to lay down floor in uh, uh, master bedroom, closets, uh, living room area, and two small bedrooms. Um, however, they didn't get a chance to finish the boards for whatever reason. I'm not going to get into that now. But um, I ended up cut it, getting the cutting machine and probably going to finish it up myself. Um, looked pretty simple. I, I have uh, been watching uh, this guy on YouTube. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description. he has been pretty much my, uh, my, uh, my teacher through all these projects. I've been uh, religiously watching most of his videos. As a matter of fact, I signed up. To his membership area not that i'm not taking advantage of it but for five bucks a month the guy is definitely worth uh to ask some personal questions if you have any um anywho so i'm sorry i'm rambling out for 20 minutes already uh just uh just want to say we are okay we're doing fine here in port st lucie it's it's a small but very cozy community Everyone here has a working family, nothing fancy. Uh, all the stores are nearby, about five, 10 minutes drive. Uh, so anything we need is right here. Um, yeah, it's kind of far away from everything else. It's a two hour drive to Miami. I don't particularly go there very often. Most of my business I'm planning to, uh, to do in West Palm and, uh, and up north. Maybe going down to Fort Lauderdale, but that's as far as I'll go probably. Uh, because of the drive uh, and late at night when you're tired and falling asleep driving that's uh, that's a nugget <laughs> Anywho, um, miss all my friends family uh, if anybody wants to say hello more, more welcome to send me uh, to message or connect with me any other way um, I don't really go on Facebook as much now I'm just working around the house but uh, if anybody cares and wants to say hello, holla at me. This is Mark from Port St. Lucie. Peace, love, and unity. And yeah, grow some fruits and vegetables. It's good for you. Bye-bye.